All right, make manicotti with me. I made this quick meal. Um, as you can see, the noodles are boiling in the back. Um, I used this meat from Super Bowl. It was some meat I over, I cooked too much meat. And so I froze it. So we unfroze it so I can use it for the manicotti. So as you see, I did put tomato paste inside um, of the meat. And then I did use um, Italian herb progressive um, spaghetti sauce as well. So I'm just making sure that everything gets stirred within the meat and the meat is covered with sauce in itself if you have not used tomato paste you might want to try it um it gives a little tang to your food i use tony creole seasoning i use garlic seasoning as well and then i use a little bit of oregano um in it just to you know spruce it up a little bit and while we're waiting on the noodles to boil um next once the meat was done and i let it simmer for a little while I do put a little bit of meat at the bottom of my pan. Um, I just do that so it's not the noodles aren't just at the bottom of the pan in itself. Um, so, yeah, this is me just putting a little bit of meat down there and I did have extra love. So, this is me making um, the mix for the to go inside of the noodle. This is the ricotta cheese. Um, in it, I also do Parmesan cheese. Um, I love Sargento. Like, that's, yes, I love that cheese for... Um, and then I did a little bit of red peppers, flakes in itself. And then I put um, some parsley in there. So once I mix this all around, I get it fully, fully mixed. Um, as y'all can see, it was like coming out of the bowl. But I mix everything, um, put a little bit of more parsley in there um, to give it that greeny feeling. Because um, I didn't do spinach this time. I didn't feel like it. So I'm mixing it all around. Next, I get my noodles now. As y'all can see, I dropped it. Um, my noodles, I got, I let them get too soft. So don't let your noodles get too soft because um, I was like playing with my mom. Um, but this is me just stuffing the noodles to put them in the pan. So I think I got like nine or ten noodles um, out of it that were able to be stuffed. As y'all can see, they kind of breaking apart. So be careful with that. Um, I didn't feel like doing the whole putting in a, a baggie and pouring it in the um, well, squirting it in there. I didn't feel like it. I was trying to hurry up. So I got a smaller spoon to do it. So as you all can see, I'm just filling each one of them and lining them in the pan in itself. Um, I did run out of mix because that particular ricotta cheese was small. Um, normally I get the big one, but like I said, I was rushing. I really did not feel like cooking, but my family got to eat. So yeah. And I'm tired of spending money, so I ain't want to buy no food I'd eat. So next, I, after that, once the pan was lined with the noodles, I got the rest of the meat, and then I placed it on top. So I always make sure that all the meat goes across all of the noodles so it can cover it. So, yeah, it gives you an extra little piece of, it gives you some extra meat with it. Once that's done, then I take the Sorrento Parmesan cheese again, and I do it as a one coat. And then I... After I do that, I do um, do another coat of cheese as well, which is just like a blend um, of like cheddar, um, like a cheddar blend. I can't, I like crafts as well. Um, this might be taco blend if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. Um, and then I do a little bit more parsley on the top just to give it that greeny feel. And then I do a little bit of oregano on the top. And then it is definitely time for it to go in the oven. And I put it on 350 for about 30 minutes. And this is what it, the final product looks like. Hope you all enjoy.